I'm going to take this piece of cedar, I believe this is red cedar, and uh, try to carve something up out of it. And what I'm going to do <clears throat> is just go around and clean it up, get rid of any of this really dead wood, and get down to solid wood. That way I can see if there's any checks or splits that run all the way through. This piece of wood isn't too hot. It's got a lot of checks. But I think I can whittle it down enough to uh, make something out of it. Start cleaning this up. That cedar smells nice. This wood's definitely not the best. It's got a lot of splits in it. But for what I'm going to be using it for, if it has a couple splits, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I'm just going to be using it in the field. As long as it doesn't get in the way of me making what I want to make. Starting to clean up nice. Took off quite a few shavings there. And I'm actually getting down to some good wood now. There's a few checks left right here. And right here. It doesn't look like they go all the way through. But it's starting to take shape. And I think what it's going to be is a knife at this end kind of like a butter knife or something along those lines and then this end I'm, I think I'm going to cut a little notch in here and use it as a, a lever to pull my pots out of the fire I'll take just a little bit more off right here Well, this is it. I'm not quite sure what it is. I guess it's a butter knife. Red cedar. I had a bunch of knots and checks in here, and as I whittled it down, I kept hitting more knots and more checks. And it ended up being shorter than I wanted. It was originally that long. And there was a knot that went all the way through. 
so I had to get that out of there and then uh, this got whittled down because uh, there was a big check that ran right across here and that's pretty much it it's it's what I intended it to be it's just a little smaller than I had hoped but it works it's a knife for spreading spread or butter peanut butter jelly whatever I take a, a lot of times when I go camping I take peanut butter and jelly or something so I don't know it's kinda neat I guess for that mainly it's just practice getting the hang of carving and whittling again I want to make a spoon to go with my fork. I thought this was neat because I can take my, this is what I use to keep my water a lot of the times and it doesn't really have a handle. So if I just take this, I can lift it, lift it out of the fire, take it around, sit it down in the fire. That just hangs on the side. Makes a nice little handle. Just got to keep it tilted at a slight angle. And that way when I put it in my pack it doesn't have a bulky handle sticking out or nothing. It's just like that. So that works. I'm not sure if I'll use it. But it's nice and lightweight and it's small so should be no problem packing it around. big difference between it and the cherry boy the uh, the red cedar is much darker it's pretty wood this piece had quite a few knots in it but that's it this is my uh, knife slash pot holder <laughs> 